let us write up the next heading as scenario analysis please write this title scenario analysis and let us talk about scenario analysis so if you can recall earlier what we have learnt was sensitivity analysis sensitivity analysis refers to analyzing sensitivity of each variable with respect to the net present value so analyzing sensitivity of each variable with respect to net present value when you are applying that sensitivity analysis sensitivity analysis has one limitation i am sure you would have experienced that limitation what is that one limitation that sensitivity analysis has that one limitation is it considers one variable at a time only that means it is considering changes only in one variable at a time when you say what if cost increases by 10 percent you are always concluding that if cost increases by 10 percent other things remaining same the NPV reduces by so much that means you are observing change of one variable at a time but can we agree that in reality in real life there may be multiple changes happening together and that is what we call as analyzing the entire scenario in simple words scenario analysis so scenario analysis is basically one step ahead of sensitivity analysis it talks about application of multiple changes at one time so together if i give you a scenario that the cost of the project increases the life of the project reduces the cash inflows decrease and together if you give implication of these changes and you revise the npv calculation you will come up with a revised npv calculation not with respect to change in one variable but changes with multiple variables at a time now generally what happens scenarios when you identify there can be three possible scenarios one what we generally call as most likely scenario one could be a best case scenario one could be a worst case scenario so if you are highly optimistic about all good good things happening around you it is what we call as best case scenario if you are highly conservative when you are observing all the negative factors and giving high degree of weightage to all the negative factors it is the worst case scenario so what best can happen what worst can happen and what is the most likely situation so we will have three different scenarios best case scenario worst case scenario and most likely case scenario when we say most likely means the probability of that is highest best case and worst case could be two extreme ends where the probabilities of those two will be little lower so what you will do is you will end up computing three different npvs npv number one will be for the best case scenario npv number two will be for the most likely case scenario and then you will have a worst case scenario where you will find a third npv now when you have these three different npvs you will have three different probabilities associated with these npvs so each of the npvs what you have determined for best case most likely case and worst case scenarios you will have respective probabilities where the aggregate of those three probability values will always be one therefore what you do at the last stage the npv at best case scenario multiplied by its respective probability then npv at most likely case scenario multiplied by its probability and finally npv at worst case scenario multiplied by its respective probability aggregate of this will be the expected value and that will be the expected npv that you can get from all the three possible scenarios and that will be the final line of conclusion over here if that final expected npv goes positive go ahead with the project otherwise you may just reject the project so the idea is very clear in sensitivity analysis we are just trying to look at 
how much is our tolerance with respect to changes in these variables on the other side scenario analysis gives you a more clear picture of should we accept the project or not so let us do one thing let us write some notes on sensitivity analysis and later after writing these notes about sensitivity analysis i'll give you one example a very very good example on sensitivity analysis so let us do one thing let us first begin with uh, writing some important notes over here so what you may just do is under the heading scenario analysis you please write although sensitivity analysis is probably the most widely used risk analysis technique it does have limitations therefore we need to extend sensitivity analysis to deal with the probability distributions of the inputs in addition it would be useful to vary more than one variable at a time so we could see the combined effects of the changes in the variables let us move ahead and write further this analysis begins with the base case or most likely set of values for the input variables then go for worst case scenario where low unit sales low sale price high variable cost and so on and best case scenario so in a nutshell scenario analysis examines the risk of investment to analyze the impact of alternative combinations of variables on the project's npv let us move ahead and take up question number 6 let us read this question it says the following information or the following data has been supplied to you life of the project is given as 6 years cost of the project is given as rupees 35 lakhs annual cash flows given as rupees 12 lakhs per annum discounting rate or expected rate of return is given as 10% per annum determine the npv of project under the following scenarios scenario 1 is given as best case scenario and it mentions that all variables remain unchanged what do we actually imply with this scenario 1 that what you find over here in the base data as it is this whole thing will apply and that will be considered as best case scenario in accordance with this particular example that means whatever you are going to find as npv from this data that will be the best case scenario let us read the question ahead scenario number 2 that is most likely case scenario it says increase in initial project cost by 20% life of project remains same decrease in annual cash inflows by 10% and increase in cost of capital from 10% to 12% all these changes you have to incorporate together under scenario 2 which is most likely case scenario and finally they have given worst case scenario as scenario 3 it says increase in initial project cost by 20% decrease in life of project to 5 years decrease in annual cash inflows by 20% and increase in cost of capital from 10% to 12%. So we have to give impact of all these factors together in one scenario at a time. So we will first consider the outcome of scenario 1. Let me show you how to present the scenarios solution over here. Scenario 1 calculation of NPV of the project it is just a usual npv calculation so the life of the project has been taken as 6 years because the cash flows are uniform over the life of the project we have taken for all 1 to 6 years the same cash flows every year and therefore the pv factor that you consider over here at 10% discounting rate will be the annuity factor at 10% for 6 years that comes to 4.355261 and the present value of these cash flows will be 52,26,313 from that you subtract the total present value of outflows that is the cost of the project and we get the npv for the best case scenario so let us move ahead and now what we do is we take up the next scenario calculation that is scenario 2 what all changes are happening over here we will have to first write that increase in initial project cost by 20% so revised cost of the project will be 35 lakhs plus 20% that goes to 42 lakhs 
Now the second change is decrease in annual cash flows by 10 percent. So revised cash flows will be 12 lakhs minus 10 percent that will be 10 lakh 80 thousand and third change what we observe is increase in cost of capital from 10 percent to 12 percent. Let us move ahead and write up the calculation of NPV with those changes as per scenario 2. So now what we do is the life of the project remains 6 years the revised cash flows will be 10 lakh 80 thousand every year and the present value factor for 6 years at 12 percent discounting rate that annuity factor comes to 4.11407 and the present value of cash flows that comes to 44 lakh 40 thousand 320 and from that when you subtract the present value of outflows that is 42 lakhs you will find that the revised NPV comes to 2,40,320. Now, this is the most likely case scenario. Let us move ahead and take up the next scenario that will be scenario 3. First change that it will experience is increase in initial project cost by 20 percent. So, revised cost of project will be 35 lakhs plus 20 percent that will be 42 lakhs. Decrease in life of project to 5 years that is the second change. Then the third change is decrease in the annual cash flows by 20 percent. It will be revised cash flows that will be 12 lakhs minus 20 percent that will be 9 lakhs 60 thousand per annum. So even though I have not mentioned over here separately but it is per annum because this is basically annual cash flow not a one time cash flow. So 9 lakhs 60 thousand per annum and fourth change is increase in the cost of capital or you can say increase in discounting rate from 10 percent to 12 percent. All right friends once you have uh, written all these uh, changes in the variables with respect to scenario 3 let us go ahead and compute the NPV of scenario 3. Just the usual manner of calculating NPV and you may just write the revised NPV now coming to 7,39,415 negative. Now let me tell you one more point over here. In this particular question it was not mentioned what to do ahead as in for each scenario the best case scenario, most likely case scenario and worst case scenario the question can give you additional information in the form of probabilities of all these respective scenarios and then can you notice we have got three different NPVs a very high positive amount of NPV for best case scenario, a negative amount of NPV for worst case scenario and a small positive amount of NPV for the most likely case scenario. Now suppose I give you the probabilities of these three scenarios for the most likely case scenario suppose I say that the probability is 80 percent and 10 percent probability for each of best case and worst case scenarios. So best case scenario whatever NPV you got multiplied by its respective probability that is 10 percent then most likely case scenario whatever NPV you got multiplied by its respective probability that is 80 percent and the worst case scenario what you are finding on screen right now if that also has probability of occurrence as 10 percent then 10 percent applied on this negative NPV. The final aggregate value will be the expected NPV. We are going to deal with that kind of questions ahead in questions and examples further. So as of now this was the initial question on scenario analysis for your reference. So let us observe what will happen when we have details about the probabilities. So here we have a situation refer the data given in question 6 determine the expected NPV of the project under the three scenarios scenario 1, scenario 2, scenario 3 all the data what you have to basically refer is the same data that you have experienced in the earlier question that was question number 6 but now we have additional information about probabilities. So what probabilities have been informed let us identify we have 10 percent probability for the best case scenario, 70 percent probability for the most likely case scenario and 20 percent probability for the worst case scenario. We have already computed NPV under these three scenarios 
what we need to do is multiply the NPV of each scenario with its respective probabilities and we get expected NPV. So, can you notice 17,26,313 that was the NPV for best case scenario it got multiplied to 0 0.1 that was the probability for that scenario then 2,40,320 was the most likely case scenarios NPV which got multiplied to its probability that is 0 0.7 or 70 percent whatever you say and finally we have worst case scenarios NPV which was a negative NPV negative 7,39,415 multiplied to its probability of 20 percent or 0 0.2 when you apply this calculation what you get is the expected NPV as per scenario analysis.